see. Oh, defense. Defense. What what I mean what what are you trying to Okay. Oh yeah, okay. And and what player do you usually use here when you're playing defense? Is it like the defensive line, linebackers or safeties? You there? All right, so I, like I asked my other opponent, I was playing. When you're playing defense, do you kind of predict what your opponent is going to run, or do you just wing it and just play whatever you're going to run? Like, do you go by your game plan, or do you make your uh, make your opponent dictate what you what you're going to run? All right, okay, so this is just. This is just a basic play, a very common play that everybody runs in Madden. You see the formation, three three receivers, one tight end, and uh, one running back. So what do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> All right, so this is how I, this is how I play. Look at the formation. I see three receivers. And then out of this play, I'm going to say about 50% of the time they're going to throw to that slot receiver. That's the Heat Miller to tight end. And then I can go with the inside zone, inside zone run. Or you're looking at the linebacker. So what I do, or the running back underneath. So what I do, I'll use her that running back. I mean, use your middle linebacker to cover. That's a good play, though. <laughs> That's a good play. I'll use her that, that middle linebacker. Because when you go three receivers, it's usually that inside zone run. Our vertical route. The thing is, I, I like to use her that the, the linebacker. And and what I learned now, I'm starting to get a lot of user picks because I'm starting to be more uh, deceptive in my pass coverage. See, uh, the dude over Heat Miller, I'll, I'll make him go. Uh, do you know how to audible like audible your defense? I'll, I'll make you can play press, but I'll audible him deep, like like uh, I think deep coverage. And then I'll use her that middle linebacker right over that logo. I'll use her him and make him stay in the middle. But with the snap of the ball, I'll pretend that I'm going to cover the running back out of the backfield. And then I'll go cover that vertical route. Usually this play is always a vertical route. So i use her that athlete like I'm going to cover the running back. Because usually this play is a vertical route to the tight end. And then out of the same formation, you want a purple zone purple zone that far the very far um quarterback because they can run a, the corner out so you got usually it's going to be three things it's going to be neither a run the corner route or a vertical route so you want a purple zone right over Antonio Brown and have two dudes deep and you use her that middle linebacker it's going to be neither a run or it's going to be neither a run or a uh, inside zone I ran the ball on the inside zone yes I like to play cover three, honestly. I love playing cover three. And then I don't really do base the line. I sometimes. It makes the. Base the line makes it look like it's a regular formation. It's hard for the, uh, the offense to tell you whether you're in a zone or man to man.
This is without this is without baseline. On baseline, on baseline, that cornerback will go wide. You know how I talked about the purple route usually is that corner route, Antonio Brown. He's already wide. He's already covering that that sideline, so that cuts off that. Oh, uh, it cuts off the uh, the uh, corner route. So usually when you go baseline, that person is going to go over the middle. Is usually if they're a good player, they're going to throw over the middle on that vertical route. See, because he's already going sideways. I wish I could pause the game, but he's already going sideways. Basic line makes them play towards the sideline most of the time out of a basic look. So that's when someone is going to go over the middle. I can read basic line defense. So me, personally, I'll go over the middle. I got to play defense. But, I mean, it's hard for me to kind of tell unless I play defense. But I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to record this uh, game and I might just start putting play charts. I, right here, I look at the defense. It looks like a blitz. You got four, five defensive linemen, and you got all these linebackers. Then I see Martavius Bryant. He's wide open. And usually when there's a blitz, I throw short. Use those coral routes. Coral routes. Don't be afraid. You don't always have to throw a deep ball. I throw short a lot. And I'll tell you a good way how to stop short passing. Because it's really hard. It's almost impossible. Because with those coral routes, it beats man-to-man -man coverage. I, I play I like to play base and line and I kinda keep them in a normal position. I don't really play over the top. Unless unless like it's late in the game, third and long or something, I play over the top. Especially on third and long. Anything third and eight or more, I play over the top. Because usually it's gonna be a deep pass. But for me, I take what my opponent gives me. Usually they're gonna give something. There's gonna be that running back underneath, like I said, is gonna be that check down running back. Or it's gonna be a deep pass to the tight end and vertical route. See, you're in base line, it looks like, because he's way, the the cornerbacks uh, are way outside. I see one of your dudes outside the uh, numbers. They're way outside. So the, the, I'll tell you, the baseline, you run base line against toss sweeps. And I'm going to go to that formation. This is where I get frustrated because people complain that I run toss sweeps a lot. And it's, it's an unstoppable play, but it's not unstoppable. You run base line against this, see, see your cornerbacks. I'm not sure what his name. A dude is standing at the 20-yard line. He's way outside. He's way outside, so he can stop the outside run. And what you do is, uh, see, he's way outside. Then you press him up. That's a good play. There's no way he's going to get that corner. See, because it's forcing me to run wide. And then you, what you do is cover, use, still use the middle linebacker and run there just for uh, safe support. See, when you play baseline, that's going to stop that top sweep. But right now, your linebackers are... See, see how far outside he is? He's so far outside. And then you use your linebacker. Now he's got speed. Because they get mad when I run that top sweep. They're like, oh, I can't stop the top sweep. I'm like, it is a stoppable play to the point where you can force loss. Most of the times... I don't do base in line unless I know it's going to be a toss sweep or an outside pass. But you want to use that linebacker just to get get him towards. Okay, I'm going to show you the outside pass. And it's, it works a lot when there's a bunch formation because of the bunch formation. You got a fullback. You know, instead of in the, the, what they call it, the eye formation because you're like straight down behind him. The fullback is wide. He's, he's towards that right side of the running back. So you see he's going to block towards the right side. You can feel, you know, he's going to be a toss. It looks like a toss because you see that fullback. He's already wide instead of an eye formation. I'll show you how an eye formation looks. No, it's not eye. An eye formation is when you see the fullback right down the middle. This is this is a different. This is when he's right in front of him. So it might be a dive or something. But this, as you can see, is going to be a toss because he's wide. He's ready on the right side. And you know it's going to be a toss to the right. Unless they want to toss it towards the weak side. And because it's based line, see, you cut off that pass right there. That's, that's, a, that's a bad throw, though. You cut off that pass. Because out of that toss formation, you can go with that quick out. But with a base line, the quarterbacks are so far towards the sideline that quick out wouldn't work. 
I run baseline at every time I see a strong formation. See how your quarterbacks are outside? And I can run that quick out. See, he's covered. See, he's covered. Press him up and make sure he's in zone. The man-to-man -man doesn't work. Baseline line works to stop the outside plays, anything outside. But that's why I'm saying if you're going to go baseline, line, you want to use it at middle. The first thing you want to do is act like you pretend. Pretend that you're going to cover that running back. And then go go over the top because people want to be they want to get the big games they don't want to get the short games most of the time I don't mind taking the short game like my drives will be five minutes and people are like oh man you clock running my drives will be five minutes <laughs> I don't mind people people they tend to get they get impatient when they take too long to score so you want to pretend that you're going to cover that that running back and then come back out I'll show you my defense and how I do it see uh I look at the before you even snap the ball, the first down, I, I think it's going to be a running down. I usually come out with my 3-4. You go three receivers, I still got to come out 3-4. And I shift my linebackers over to, to the right side. I'm going to cover that middle linebacker. See, I'm covering him right now. I'm using the middle linebacker. Staying in the middle, staying in the middle. See, now I'm going to go this way. Uh, it should have been picked. I kind of stay in the middle with my middle linebacker. When you see motion, usually the play is going to go over the middle. And that's where you can go base a line. I'm going to go base line right now. Make sure my tight ends are outside. See, you're going that toss sweep. See a strong formation. That fullback is outside. I'm playing against the toss. I have my linebacker here to, to help against the run. So it's going to be either a toss or it's going to be a toss, a pass to the corner. I'm staying in the middle now. I'm playing the corner again. See, and I'll give it the short game. People don't like that. They don't like. They don't like taking four yards. I see three receivers. It's third and three. So in my mind, I'll be thinking, okay, it's going to be neither a inside zone, inside zone run. I'm gonna shift my linebackers. By doing that, you got to press that right button and shift them to to the left. And then that's when I. I always play. I always play user. I kind of stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Knock it down. It's it's hard to explain, but after this game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Because when you go three receivers, the thing is, one receiver is gonna need to go streak. One receiver is gonna need to go to the sideline. If not, it's gonna be all verticals. That's where I just user my man. I use my linebacker, pretending that I'm going to cover the check down running back, and then I go out and cover that tight end or the slot receiver. I play the slot receiver. Every time I see three wides, I'm saying, okay, especially three receivers to one side. I'm going to do it again. Three receivers. It's usually going to be vertical routes or pass to the sideline. And right here, it looks like a man to man defense. It just looks like man because the quarterbacks are close. See, I would have played the tight end, though. But initially, you should act like you're going to play the running back. So that's going to make someone throw it to that tight end over the middle. Zone defense, I like playing zone. <laughs> and everybody's like, why are you playing zone? I like playing zone. It can confuse people because it's all about timing when they pass the football. Play that running back. Now go out towards the tight end. Just come down a little bit. Just, just that at the snap, come down towards the running back and then go right back out over the middle. Yep, and that's you got to deceive people. You can't be like, I don't use that linebacker. I use the other one though. I use the other one right, right, right over Williams. That one, yeah. And then do you know how to shift your linebackers? Press that arrow to the right and move them over. Move the linebackers over. You press, press the right arrow and move them over so you can stop the inside run. They ain't, they ain't moving yet. He still ain't moving yet. And then go out. There you go. That's how that's how you get it. See? That's how you get it. That qu at, quickly at the snap, I will show you what I do. And I and I'll show you how it looks like it's gonna stop that inside zone too when I when I go come out with that that formation. A three four. I like to play uh covers. Three four. That's why I, I like to play three four with a short punt. Damn. 
But I shift my linebackers, though. I shift my linebackers so they uh, they can cover that inside zone. I always start with that far line. Well, you go to see you, go, you have three receivers or two receivers on one side. What I do is shift my defensive line and shift my linebackers towards that strong side. And I use her in the middle. See, this is the middle. Stay in the middle. I'm staying in the middle. Stay in the middle. Good play. That's a good call. Screen pass. That, that works sometimes. Good play. People don't run screens as much. That's the thing. People should run screens. So you go three receivers. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be trips. Three receivers. I'm controlling the middle linebacker. I shift them over a little bit by pressing right. Moving them over a little bit. And then I stay right here just in case you go over the inside zone. I came to blitz that time. Oh. That wasn't even my. That happens though. And especially when you see, you know, a short pass. You don't think it's going to be a pick. Short pass. That's the one thing too. Also, I always have a check down. I always have a check down. And it's, it's always going to be my running back out of the backfield. There you go. You're shifting it. You press right. And then you move the, uh. The uh, left bumper to the right, and you want to control that that linebacker, move him a little bit. Let me see if that's him. No, yeah, that one. Yeah, so so the the other one right now will be over the tight end. You can make him go deep. You can purple him deep, or not purple him, but you can make him go blue deep, just in case if it's a streak, because the tight end usually goes over the middle. And then at, right now, Ally, you cover the running back, and then go out to the cover the tight end. There you go. A little bit late on that play. That quick. At the snap, pretending that you're covering the running back, because at the end of the day, you're going to stop the deep pass, and who cares if he gets four yards? Just come down a tad bit and then go back out to the tight end. Yep, just like that. Because nobody's going to throw a check down when they see you coming down, so they're going to usually throw it to that tight end. And when I see bunch, I know it's gonna be neither a sideline pass. I wouldn't mind purple and this dude right here. Purple him. Oh uh, yeah, it was Ooh. See now you got a, a like a slot fullback or something, or that's a tight end to 81. He's close, so I'm thinking it's gonna be a run. I shift them over again. I act like I'm gonna blitz. I act like I'm gonna blitz and I'm gonna come right back out. Right back out. Playing that tight end. So I don't mind giving up a short game. Shift them again, and I shift the defensive line sometimes because they can run the counter to the other side. And come right down. Sometimes you got to shift the line sometimes because when you move that linebacker, move both linebackers to the right side, the defense can see. All right, now I look at, I'm looking at the fullback. In this play, I have that same play. I'm thinking it's going to go to this side. So I move them over, but I move the defensive line the opposite side of the right, my right. Control the middle linebacker. Stay in the middle. See, because out of every... After every snap, I'm, I'm anticipating something. I'm thinking about what you're going to do. I see people just choose defense just because. I choose defenses because I believe you're going to run a certain play. Three receivers, I shifted over. See, I'm shifting my linebackers, but then I'm shifting defensive line the opposite side. Playing the middle right here. Playing the middle. Good play. It really depends on my opponent and what they run. I usually want to cover three, but I, I do a lot of audibles out of it. See, this is a three-receiver set. 
Or is he going to motion tight ends? I'm thinking it's going to go from right to left. I think 81 is going to go with a slant over the middle. That's what I'm thinking. I'm using him right here just in case you run the ball. Staying right down the middle. Oh, that's good play. I was late on that play. I was late on reaction to that play. See, I'm not perfect, though. I made a mistake there. See, on third down and short like this, or second and short, I run uh, a press split sometimes. And this is not a cover three. It, it is a cover three, but it's a blitz. And I'll user blitz this linebacker right here. User blitz him, and then I zone this dude. See, he's coming in and blitz. I'm staying right there in the middle. Second down and short. I mean, second down and uh, third and inches. I'll come with a mat splits. I'm knowing my opponents, they might run the ball. And depending on how many audibles you do, I'm thinking it's going to be a pass. Because I'm saying you're going to change the play. Good run. Three receivers. Sometimes I change it up. I'll, I'll bring in a blitz, though, and I play off the ball. Right now, I'm blitzing. Playing off the ball, I'm use, still using my uh, middle linebacker, but I have everybody blitzing, but I'm playing cover. Good call. I don't mind giving up five yards. <laughs> I just, my main thing is to make my, my opponent's offense drive the length of the field and I'm so good at red zone defense it, it's discouraging to them so sometimes I'll change it up I, I, that was a man blitz at time and usually I don't do man right here I'll, I'll go f blitz good play oh my goodness <laughs> damn that's a that's a good play though. It's it's really cool when you uh, run plays to that long receiver on that side. Cause every everything I do, I play over the top. I, I try to cover those three receivers. I'm trying to I'm still trying to get better in my defense. My run defense is legit, but I need to get better against the short passing of my own. I like to play zone defense. I'm going to run verticals all day, like these vertical plays. Because there's a, there's another option out of this vertical play. I mean, this is one of the most common three receiver sets. <clears throat> so you know how to cover the running back with that linebacker, and you know how to cover the tight end. But some people, they would throw to that the second receiver, Brandon, I mean, uh, Marcus Whedon. Look at him. He's covered, so I'll throw it to the tight end. So right now, I did, at, before the snap, I'll be zoning that man deep over Whedon, and then I'll be uh, using that far linebacker over uh, Le'Veon Bell. Now I'll shift the line just in case I'm going to run the inside zone right now. This is what will happen if you don't shift. Yeah, oh, he gets tackled. Good play. But usually, in, against the inside zone will work if you don't shift the line. I mean, now I'm going to run the inside zone. Just let you see how it works. With the line shift. Nowhere to go. Because you got too many linebackers on that side. Every time when someone runs three receivers, I'm thinking it's going to be a vertical route or a pass to the sideline. Oh, good catch. Damn. Make sure you got your fastest linebacker, though, if you're going to cover somebody. The fastest linebacker. I have, uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, Ryan Cesar. See, that, who cares about two yards? You know, someone's got to call a timeout. Four-yard game. Oh, good play. Damn. That's good. You got to be unpredictable sometimes. Blitz him sometimes. I mean, blitz him sometimes. Or even what you do sometimes, probably once or twice a game, you use her that uh, safety. The safety over uh, Martavis Bryant. 
and you and you have uh make sure your guys are playing off the ball so he wouldn't get beat. Right now he's gonna get beat. Should be a touchdown. Should be a touchdown. Oh, whew. Uh, let's see. One of my proper plays I like to run is that four receiver set. This is tough. This is where you want to run that uh, base line. If the four receivers, you, you, right now you're reading it, it says four receivers. If it's tight, you run base line to stop the outside. But, however, four receivers can be like this. It could be like this, so it's hard. It's hard to stop because <laughs> it's not. It's not tight, so you know the plays could go over the middle too. Should be a touchdown. Nope. Yeah, touchdown. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good pick. Damn. I don't even know how Tony Brown didn't get open there. <laughs> he just didn't run his route right. Four receivers. I'm going to cover that slot right here. I'm going to cover him. I love the screenplay. Ooh. Oh, shit. Damn. No, you got good, good sticks, man. At least you can juke. Is that Murray? No. It's Ross. I want to do something different. Oh, okay. When you're on her center, I blitz this dude. I blitz him and I use her him. Number 10, I'm covering him. There you go. That they ain't they ain't they ain't they ain't no uh that's not a... what do they call it? That's not a a glitch or something. That's not neat ne a nano or whatever they call it. That's that was blitz. I blitz when you're on the center, I blitz. I always blitz this. Uh, I sometimes blitz this linebacker. I'm blitzing him. Ooh, good catch. So I, didn't, I wasn't able to switch in time. On the center, I'll be blitzing him because I know it could be that. I shift the line sometimes. Play this tight end. Good job. Hit him hard. Change it up a little bit. Oh, damn. Oh, shit, he's wide open. Damn, I'm losing him on right defense I wanted to be in. I gotta change that. So you got a couple short passes off, I like. Oh, so we're going empty. May I make him go in a streak pattern. Ooh. I bet it was a streak. <laughs> That's why I was I was zoning my defense to play the deep pass. Let's see what's happening. Three receivers. I'm gonna blitz Jones right down the middle. Oh man, I got picked up. Now, in this case, now I know you're going to pass. I'll go dime defense, but I still run cover three. It's definitely going to be pass. And now you're going to split backs. I'm going to go base and line and make sure to play outside. Man, it's not, not working. Don't cover this underneath, man. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Damn. I was right there. Shit. Now I'm saying he's going to run, you know. My best goal line defense. And this is where people get upset because I run, I blitz my safeties. I'm blitzing them all the way into a blitz and still zoning. Still zoning. I play cover two, I mean, cover two in the, uh, in the end zone or down to the goal line. And I'll actually uh, probably even spy somebody, blitz my safeties. Ah, get him. Ooh.
This is some a play that you gotta learn to stop. This is a play that everybody runs. People hate it. They can't stop it. I'm like, come on, you gotta learn to stop it. You gotta use your use your linebacker though. Good play. Shit. And I would run three four out of this formation. I don't need a you know blitz or something. I don't need a you know uh, what do you call it? Engage blitz. Make everybody go to the song. I just run three four at base line. We're going three receivers again. Let's see. But this is going to be a great play here. I, I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to get you in this one, though. That corner route. See, I mean, is a, is a chess game. You know, you've been playing. Okay, he went vertical four times. He might do it again. You got to do that. Sometimes you got to play baseline with that purple. <laughs> but that that's where that's where game plan to come in. Man line. Man line is when they're they pretend to be in man coverage. They look like they're in man coverage. But I, I can still tell it doesn't really change anything. Good play. I see you out there. See, because my defensive chart, you're saying that you're running sky cover three. This should be an obvious play. Second and inches. Come out three receivers. I'll shift that defensive line a little bit and blitz the linebacker because you know it's going to probably be a run. Shift the defense to the right and then blitz one linebacker and still cover the user another one. That's what I do. I, I blitz that linebacker over the the uh, tight end and then I use the, the uh, other one just, just because it's a running down. But now shotgun, you look like you're pressed against Whedon, so probably going to throw it deep. I don't play press coverage. Never do. That's a good play, though. This is my two-point conversion play. I see two people watching my screen right now. But uh, is it whatever? <laughs> this is my two-point conversion play. I'm giving it up. <laughs> four receivers. Let's say four receivers slant middle. I got the uh, Antonio Brown running a corner route. Murray. Murphily running the slant and I uh, audible my running back into a uh, check and release Move to the weak side waiting Oh good play. Ooh, that's that's a two-point conversion right there. <laughs> I Ain't gonna even worry about it Let's See got some speed on you. Come on. Come on Murray Chase him down oh! <laughs> Shit <laughs> So I, I, I should have stayed in the pocket a little bit. If I have a mobile quarterback, I'll run there. I'll run outside the pocket. So it's like a uh, option play where you got to cover him or cover that running back, which is a check and release. Hard to stop the two-point conversion play. Fourth and two play for me, too. Right, I got... Wait, I got the ball back? Wait a minute. How did I get the ball back, though? Wait, I, th I thought I, I thought I scored a touchdown though. Oh man, I thought I, was, I don't know. I got I got sidetracked. I thought I I thought I, I scored a first touchdown. Damn. Okay, I thought Madden had a little ear. Okay. Oh, where's my tight end at? Come on. Ooh. I thought I scored a touchdown. What happened though? I got down to the two. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. All right. I'm gonna. I should stop running the same plays. This is also a play I like to run. That check release out of the backfield. Ooh, nice hit. I can run three receivers all day. All right, looks like it's gonna be a blitz. The linebackers are shifting. I run it. Nah, you shifted. You shifted the wrong side, though. That's the thing. shift towards the opposite side of the running back like right now my running back to is to my right 
your left, you shift towards the opposite side because that's where the zone is going to be, the inside zone. However, they can run that, uh, what, do, what do they call it, the counter play where it counters that zone. Spin. Oh, a touchdown. Now I got to run a two point conversion play. There should be money. Oh, yeah. Come on. You gotta, when you play against the inside zone, you gotta run the opposite side of the running back. Oh, yeah. Custom playbook out of the Steelers playbook, though. I start with my Steelers. I've been playing with the Steelers playbook, you know, ever since. So I customized a couple plays. I got pistol out of it. See, I'm shifting to my linebackers, and I sh sometimes I shift the defense, though, the opposite side. All right, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Three receivers, second down and 10. I'm thinking it's a passing down. Change it up a little bit. I can be predictable defensively, but sometimes I'm going to change it up a little bit. See how you react to this, though. Playing way, way off the ball. And now you're going to go on the center, so I might have to blitz somebody. Pistol. I hate pistol. Three wide receivers. See this? I'm gonna shift my defensive line, but I'm gonna shift my linebackers over to the weak side just in case we go to the inside zone. I'm gonna control on Timmons. Oh, now it's going to be a pass. Oh, get him. Always watch the motion play because usually when they motion, it's going to be a pass towards the middle or a pass towards the sideline. They're usually going to throw it to that motion, man. Shifting my linebackers again. Shift my defense to the opposite side. That should stop the inside zone. Ooh, damn. I went for the pick. All right, now I'm gonna play. You gotta play for real now. I don't like losing, even though even though it's practice. I don't like losing. I gotta play for real now. I can run one play. I one time I did it. I I played a head-to-head uh, -head game. I ran one formation all game long, just to practice on it. Come on, Whedon. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Shit. Let's go. This is another play. Oh, damn. I ran, chose the wrong play. It's all right. It's going to be a zone. I could have ran the inside. Come on. Get to the ball. Damn. So that's why I like fast tight ends. I always have my fastest tight ends. I got Legarius Green, I think, whatever his name is. I got on my team for my Browns. He's speed of 89. Fast tight ends are really, really important. Let's see what I got. Put James in there. Give me a check down. Oh, come on, Bell. Ooh, okay. Okay, boy. Okay. Another thing is, I, when I go out of bound, when it's over four minutes, the clock continues to run, so I'll make it wind down to uh, the huddle clock, wind down to 20 seconds. So uh, it went sim, it went sim to 10 seconds. So you save 10 seconds every snap when you go out of bound. Just a little hurry up, offensive note. Quick screen. Oh. Looks like you're controlling your 
No, okay. No, showing your defensive line. It's me versus CP all day. Man, I wanted to go no huddle though. Third and one. Oh, a touchdown. Oh. I've run this formation all day. <laughs> so many different plays. No oh, bad throw. Come on. Oh damn. What the hell? Intercept it. Intercept it. Oh. All right. Come on, man. Shift them over just in case you go to the inside zone. Oh, we split backs. Good play, man. That was to the opposite side, though. Ooh. Who's going to... Who's won Jet Street, though? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I have a couple Jet Sweeps. See, this is going to be definitely a play to that right side. I pinched my linebackers in. Oh, you're going to switch it up. Good play. Oh, maybe not. All over him. Ooh. I just followed the uh, fullback in that case. Fullback's going to leave you to the ball. It's going to be passed over the middle, it looks like. I'm blitzing that linebacker. He's coming in. Intercept that. Oh. Third down. This is where shit gets real. What are you going to do with three receivers? Oh, no, he's empty set. Damn. Um, wrong, wrong user. Wrong user, man. Wrong user. Ah. Damn. I couldn't switch back on my user again. I don't like the using the defensive line. Damn. Let's go. All right, I'm going to run my custom plays actually I'm going to run it to the same side wide open come on catch that ball oh Or quit though. Oh, this is cool. Playing press coverage. Gotta get a deep ball. Let's go. Over his head. Oh, good pick. Damn. I couldn't get over his head though. I didn't want to. I saw you coming, so I didn't want to lob it. Damn. We talk about you need practice. <laughs> that, no, that was a good pick though. I don't have safety picks. That's one thing for sure, though. I don't get safety picks. Ooh! Come on, take this back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go. My man, I can't believe I turned the ball over five times in this game, though. Oh, wide open. Come on. Come on, 
Looks like a blitz. Let's keep the linebacker in the safe. Good coverage. Good play. Good play. That, that was a good play, though. That was that was lucky. See, I was going to throw it to that tight end for real. <laughs> that was good. And it, what you should have done is kept on going deep. Once you fake the running back, fake that tight end because I didn't throw it to him. And then you keep going deep to, to the deepest receivers, one after the other. Two point conversion. Let's go. Oh. See if I can get the onside here. Nah, never mind. Let's kick it, kick it straight up. Let's go see if I can get this ball. Oh. Damn. I just need. I, I wish I could get a uh, punter in my uh, franchise league with a really, really bad kick in that power. That I wouldn't be able to recover that. <laughs> well, you pull that off. You pull that off the uh, onside kick. Yep, ready for the toss. Ain't gonna work. Boom. Toss sweep don't work. <laughs> Telling you. People do, but what hurts me when they, when they have their uh, two tight ends on one side, something short. Oh, good play. Oh, intercept that. No, oh, come on. Come on. See, I thought you were going to change your mind because I was covering him initially, so I think, yeah, you're going to throw it short. Damn, that's lucky. <laughs> oh. Let's go blitz. Ooh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I'm going empty set here. See, once again, I'm using the wrong dude. I don't like. Still caught the football. Ooh. Ooh. Did he fumble that ball? All right, let's go, D. Wait a minute. What happened? What? Now you got a clock run? How are you going to do that? Come on, man. The clock should have been stopped. You got to be kidding me, man. Man, good catch. Oh, uh oh, oh, oh. Again? Come on, man. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I need a football now. <laughs> Ooh. That was definitely a good timing of the blitz too. I timed that. Time that snap. Zero 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 zero. I'm running. Hut. Time that snap. And I blitz my outside linebacker slash type fullback. Fastest people. Come on. This is going to be good. This is going to be good right here. Oh, man. Damn. I thought I had someone on him. <laughs> damn. Let's see what my goal line defense could do here. Play base in line here so you look at the outside. Press it. Oh, you better not get this. If you get this two-point conversion, I don't know what. Oh, pick it off. On. You just got three dudes there. He's got three niggas there, and he's gonna fumble it. Come on, damn! <laughs> three dudes there. Oh. 
I'm gonna have to run my money plays, my deep plays. These are my plays for deep passes. Let's see. Try to get in the end zone real quick. This is hard to stop though. Oh, I should, it should, I should be able to get something here, especially when you play press. Should be able to get something. Oh, come on, Ben. Oh, you got two, you got two big ass linebackers, fullbacks, I mean, defensive linemen or whatever. These dudes are big. Is that Justin Tuck out there? Damn. Come on, Brown. Come on, Brown. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Trying to get an answer, so let's see. The press. A right, good eye. Damn, you've got good de user skills, man. You ain't that shabby. Three picks by one dude. Got good user skills. Now you got mobile quarterback. That's a problem. So I don't. I don't ever run my quarterbacks. Even if he's mobile, I always keep him in the pocket. Fullback diver, hands up. I'm, I'm so good at my run defense. I've been top five in every league I've play, played in. That's my thing. I don't want people running the ball in there. Running the ball. Mm, touchdown. Good hands. Damn. Sure, and then you came back and beat me like this. <laughs> Four user picks. That's ridiculous. My user pick game has gone up, though. I, I mean, I used to never... To the point where I was just using defensive players and stuff. I'm like, no. The defensive lineman. Now I'm using linebackers. One time I used a safety and got a pick. Because dude was keep hitting that corner route. All right, I'll play you next time. Some other time. All right.